I'm going to look now at using logistic regression to repeat this chi-squared test I did um, on the Titanic data. I very much doubt that um, you can understand logistic regression in one go. I think you're going to need to read about it in a textbook. You probably need to work through some problems. You probably want to read through this guide as well. I'm just going to show you how the nuts and bolts work in SPSS. Most people do not find logistic regression easy to understand. It takes a little while to get the hang of it and to understand what's going on. Our assumptions suggest that we, we've got the right kind of data. A dependent variable has to have, has to be binary, just the two outcomes. Um, and we can have as many independent variables as we like. Uh, it just, we just have to be careful how we interpret them. I'm not going to look at these other assumptions because I'm just doing a first dip into logistic regression. If you want to go on to further stats, you, there's a lot more that you can look at, um, especially in interpreting the output and looking at your sensitivity and specificity um, if you're trying to make some kind of predictive model. So here I've got the chi-square test and we're looking to see if we can get the same output um, for logistic regression. I'm not going to redo the graph because we, we did that before. So this is what we're looking at. Survival on the Titanic based on whether you're male or female. To run this as a logistic regression, we go to analyze regression binary logistic. Now I think uh, someone showed me a cheat version or a student version they had of SPSS and it didn't have it. It only had multinomial logistic. Um, and we had a look at some of the options and they were missing. So you may use, need to use um, a university computer if you don't have this at home or log into the university system to use it online. So binary logistic, our dependent variable is our outcome which is survival and the covariates in a lot of dialogues, this is a confusing thing about SPSS, it calls variables different things. Now often covariate will um, apply only to variables which are continuous, continuous predictive variables. In this case we can put anything in here and we just tell it if it's actually categorical. So if I put sex in here, it's got cat after it for categorical. If it didn't have the cat there, that means it hadn't worked it out. We would have to go into categorical and say, hey, this variable is not continuous, it's categorical, just to make sure that it deals with it in an appropriate way. And that's it. Um, oh no, options. We need our confidence intervals out. So confidence interval for exponential beta. So this is our confidence interval. In your head, you just need to blur this out and put odds ratio tick that off. And typically when you see logistic regression reported in papers, they will give you your exponential beta or your odds ratio and the confidence interval for it. So I'm going to skip down to the bottom and just have a look at the output. Now because um, there's a little bit of finagling going on with logistic regression, we can't it's not intuitive to interpret the equation like this. So you might want to ignore all of that and go over to the exponential beta, which is your odds ratio. And here we've got the confidence interval for it. And hopefully you can see that, again, we have a significant result. There is a relationship. Um, there is an association between gender and survival. And we have the same odds ratio here, 11.3. That was exactly what we got for our chi-square test. Now the trick or the difficulty with logistic regression is it working out what does this mean? So here we have sex one. So if we want to know what this is coded for, we have to go and find out what this one is referring to. If we scroll up to the variable codings, sex one, the one in brackets, it's got a little one there next to female. So this is actually giving us the odds ratio for females compared to males. But we know that can't possibly be the odds ratio of females dying because they were more likely to survive. So then we probably also want to check what is being coded as our main outcome. And it's not dying, that's got a zero next to it, it's actually the one. So what we have here are the, is the odds ratio males to females to males it's the odds of females surviving as opposed to men dying compared with the, the flip. And it's the same. So 
in the chi-squared test we were looking at the odds ratio of males to females for dying and here we've got the odds ratio females to males of surviving which is because both the categories have been flipped we get the same answer um, very very confusing when you first start doing this and actually even now when I'm doing any logistic regression it will take me hours to go through and just sort depending on how many variables I've got what is the best way to code them so that we can interpret the output now this is where you may need help from your tutor if you're having trouble interpreting this for your own project so we have females have got the one so it's the odds for females and the survival has got the one so it's for surviving so we're getting the increase in the odds of surviving for females still significant and it's the same odds ratio if you wanted to fix that we could reverse code survival so we could make um, survival zero and died one so that we could build our model around the odds of dying and then we would also have to flip the male and female um, you can actually choose your reference level in logistic regression when you run it I'll quickly show that to you. So if you did flip your coding for died and surviving in logistic regression, where you have categorical variables, where it says change the contrast, this will flip it around. So instead of having the last category as the contrast, we could choose the first. Continue. And that should flip it. And now we're getting the odds of survival for men, which is very low. So that was the very first odds ratio we came out with. So if we wanted to do the complete flip and get the odds of dying for men, we would also have to flip the died and survived, which I'm not going to do now, but you could um, try. And if you can do that, then I think that's a good sign that you're getting the hang of this. In the next video, I'll have a look at adding some more variables into the logistic regression equation um, to control for things like passenger class or money and age.